Scorpio, hi. For those of you who have been here before, welcome back. And to those of you who it's your first time, welcome to you. This is Surrender to the Flow Tarot, and I am Denise, and I feel suddenly really like subdued. <laughs> and I don't really know why. Um, I will be doing, hello, a general timeless reading. Timeless means when whatever time you come across it, that's your time for the collective of Scorpio. It's Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, ascendant, sun, moon, rising, or ascendant, or Venus. Why am I discombobulated, Scorpios? Okay, it's general reading. It's for the collective, so that means it's not gonna resonate with everyone. If it does, take what resonates and leave the rest and just be careful not to put yourself in a story that might not be yours. Um, today's reading is about chakra healing and clearing, and we're gonna be pulling the card from the Chakra Love deck to see what chakras you need to focus your attention on right now. And we are gonna be pulling one card for what's blocking you're blocking it, one card for how to clear it, and one for what it will look like went for you when it's all cleared. And we'll be using the Tarot of Mystical Moments deck, which I just got yesterday and I love it. <laughs> so dope. And then we will be using, getting an Oracle message from you from one of these, the Nature's Whispers or the Wisdom of the Oracle, um, to be determined at that part in the reading. Okay. Scorpio, let's see what chakra you need to clear. What do you need to be balanced? Hmm. Your throat chakra. Your crystal is Larimar, which is this. And your message is listening. If you want to be heard, listen. Hmm. You got a bunch of like preconceived ideas. Are they self-protection and not self-preservation? Let's see what's blocking you. Yeah. Okay. It's blocking Scorpio's throat chakra. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I, I did. Okay. I feel like it is your ancestors, your past. It's something that was birthed in your, with your ancestors and has played its part in all of your lives up to right now. It's some, okay. Um, you got on the underlying is the five of cups. Do you see how she's looking at and she's looking at the one that's that's gotten away, right? And this one's about to be out. And so is this one. But she's got two. But her focus is over here. This is your underlying. Five of Cups for me is self-medicating. It's the self-medicating card. It's when you're really disappointed in something. That that is where your focus is going. It's like almost obsessively staying there, and it's and you you are instead of healing it because the hurt is so deep and it hurts so bad. You do whatever you can to to numb it, neutralize it. You can't neutralize pain that you need to feel in order to heal you. It, if you try to neutralize pain like that, it actually cuts you deeper. You feel me? 
that's what's going on for you. What came out was the Ace of Pentacles, which is, these are so beautiful. <laughs> you can't really see that card like that, but look at the glare. Somebody write to me in the comments about what the fuck I can do to fix this because I know I feel like I torture everyone every week. Okay, whatever. Okay. The ace of pen the aces are gifts from the universe. The ace of pentacles is the gift of alchemy. It's the gift of of building your legacy. It is in the way of you have taken all of this spiritual knowledge that you have this other knowledge that you have which i think for you all you still haven't fully let it come out all the way you haven't fully understood that you are magic and what that looks like for you because it's a weird concept I, I get it you know there's not a lot of people going around and talking to you about that probably you weren't raised knowing about this part of you, you know, so give yourself a break there. But the Ace of Pentacles is, is taking all of that knowledge that's been gifted to you and having the ability, then being gifted with the ability to alchemize it into your DNA, into you, and put it out of you in something that you make materially, right? It's something you create that has to do with your all your physical needs being met you because you're holding on to some some kind of deep heart pain from the past you are stopping yourself from taking that from going there hmm This might be about listening to your intuition. If you want to be heard, learn to listen. So obviously that means all of the levels of things, but from your intuition to actually mm -hmm. listening to a voice or a person, you know, and listening to it. being present while they're speaking and, and, and taking in what they're saying and not having diluting it with other thoughts of other things. You feel me? So that could be what you're doing to your intuition and that could be what you're doing then in real life or one or both. You feel me? I might pull a clarifier on that, but we might not need to because we're going to see how to clear it. And that might tell the story a little bit more, you know? Your five of cups is on the bottom, but I'm gonna leave it out. I feel like it's a really integral part. Okay. How to clear the blockage. So the chariot flipped around. I love this chariot. She's on a snail. The chariot is about rapid growth. Okay. How to clear it. This is amazing. The bottom is the devil. I'm seeing her as a conductor of the symphony right now. And it is time for you to let go of the symphony, the tragedy that you're creating, the safety that you, the safety net you think you're, you're weaving. It's beautiful. You're creating this mask. And you need to let it go so you can be who you are. The Five of Cups is my self-medicating card, right? 
So the devil could be any, it could be obsession, it could be mental thoughts, it could be um, addiction of anything, you know? It's anything toxic. Anything that is toxic that separates you from your authentic self and then therefore living your authentic life and receiving the gifts that are meant for you because you're blocking them, because you're protecting yourself for something you probably don't need to protect yourself for anymore and, and haven't moved, haven't grown into self-preservation, which is not the same. No compromise, win-win. You feel me? The card that you got was the magician. You literally already possess within you literally everything. The magician is the raw, masculine, chaotic, chaos energy that creates that the, the fool is the raw, masculine, chaotic energy, right? The magician is the forming of that into creation, into things, because he can, they can. The magician is the master of all the suits, the wands, the cups, the swords, the pentacles. The magician is the, the divine form of the emperor. Okay, that's how you clear this. You realize that you already have within you all of the knowledge. You have all of the knowledge because you already have the ability to access it. And you have the ability to do all of that in a way that is healthy and nurturing for you. You have that in you, okay? That's not some idea. You might not have seen it or been it for a very long time, but it is your birthright, you understand? I feel like this is very much listening to your intuition, which in turn will affect how you listen to everyone and everything else. Do you feel me? And it could also be about you not seeing the divine in your, in your partner. You like creating a narrative around that because of your own fears, your projections. You feel me? Let's see what it looks like when it's cleared for you. Okay. What will it look like for Scorpio when their blockage is cleared? The Knight of Cups turned around. The Ace of Cups turned around. That's love, okay? That's union with self and the source and another being that you come into partnership with. And the Knight is the offer of it. So let's see what it will be. outrageous okay what came out what is underneath is the page of swords and that is somebody bringing the message of a new beginning or you being in a new beginning but still mistrusting right it's mistrusting a little being a little like cautious about it that's why you got death and the queen is this the king so in this deck there are female kings and male kings um so i like that this one came up because i you can take there's five extra cards in this deck and you can take those out and you you know use whatever you want but i kept them all in because i feel like if this shows up if the creator made it that way for a reason to represent both sides then let's let keep them in there to see what shows up so if this is showing up for me it's showing that you are um integrating okay who how do i explain this if you identify as female and this shows up this is you um being in your masculine power of it and if you identify as male and this shows up, this is you being integrated in your feminine power of it. Or non-binary either, do you feel me? Non-binary is both um, masculine and feminine. Every, they're all both. 
Okay. So when it's all clear, you will be reborn. Not reborn. Renewed. You will be renewed. This is regrowth. This isn't a phoenix. This is like what a tree, when a tree dies and then, I mean, when it's, you know, everything, it's not dead, but like everything is dead for the winter and then the spring when it comes back. That's what this is for you. Obviously, because you got the king of pentacles, which is in your power, in your perfect union between the divine and the um, the source and the divine and human form and the 3D and the 5D. It is being committed to the work, understanding it's hard work, but you're committed to the work because you're committed to you. You're committed to your purpose, your life purpose, which is alchemy which is creating and making and sustaining and sharing and generosity and abundance and understanding that there is space for abundance. It doesn't have to be toxic, right? It's your birthright. And it's what happens when you're in alignment. And that is what it will look like for you. You will, you will go from that to this. Okay, we're going to get a Nature's Whispers for you, Scorpio. One last message from the universe. Let's me shuffle one more. is all right contemplation number 29 which is 11 which is life purpose assurance which is 14 which is 5 which is obstacles okay we got two so we read in two I opened right up to contemplation so we're just gonna go with that we're starting with that. Enjoy your own company. This is a wonderful time for you to reorganize and consider the things you enjoy most in your life. Make a point of spending a little time allowing your mind to wander away from the everyday concerns that occupy your time. Give yourself an opportunity to be inspired, to listen to your intuition, right? Quiet, so you can listen. Ruminate on your inner voice and listen to your own counsel. And now let's see what assurance is, my Scorpio friends. Remain steady and be assured you are doing exactly what you are supposed to do. You might be seeing small signs that things, situations, and desires are just beginning to fall into place. Your focus and skills are intact. You will feel motivated in work areas and therefore make good inroads on your usual work. Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, right? Ace to the King. Didn't even realize that. In one reading, son, new ways of dealing with things will occur to you. Fresh perspectives will appear. And as a result, your life will move towards harmony and balance. Trust yourself. You have everything you need. All right, Scorpio, that's beautiful. You got this. You got this. Thank you for coming and sharing your energy with me again. And I hope that this helped. 
And I hope you let yourselves get this, okay? Because you got goodness waiting, waiting, waiting. For you. It's right there. It's literally right there. It's literally right there for you. Okay. See you next week.